everyone welcome to this tutorial so we're going to paint this bunny rabbit so I purposely chose the reference on the right side because I like the colors I like that those were like brown rich orange like colors uh, immediately like the colors that came to my mind were burnt sienna some quinacridone red with it and some bundaic brown but what about those undertones you always want to start with undertones and you want to find the lightest colors you see first because those are the colors that you want to start with so to apply these colors wet on wet first and then once you have these lighter undertones that's when you start adding the darks so in this case it would be like a richer burnt sienna some bundaic brown and then quinacridone red as well and then for the ears i saw a little bit of violet like a blue violet in there with this painting i actually wetted the entire paper except the eyes in some of my tutorials, you will see that I preserve some of the sketch lines to stay paper dry. Here, I just went for it. I wetted the entire paper except the eyes. So let's watch the speed it up version first. And here are some of the colors that I used. Please don't ever worry about matching anything because it's really not that important. The most important is light and shadows to focus on creating that contrast, that nice balance, once more, the first thing I'm going to do is dilute these colors with water. Yellow ochre, I have rusty in that on top of that or above that, I should say. The thing is that you don't need to have two of these colors. I just like to use both of them. That's because I see a little difference and uh, it does help because I like to see the separation of colors. I like to use a lot of colors in general. Wetting the paper with a white brush, it's a wash brush. I am wetting 98% of the paper because I'm just avoiding the eyes. Now let's get to the point here. What I'm doing here, I started applying colors wet on wet. I am using a quill brush, it's a long quill brush, my own line, it's a kind of thinner quill brush, um, I'm using it as if I was, I guess, using the golden two, for example, round eight, however, the round eight is not as large, so where am I applying these colors exactly? So when you look at the reference image, um, you see darker areas and then you see the lighter areas, so whatever I see, like the lighter areas, and I'm trying to find those lighter areas, that's where I am staying away from them. So I have like some highlights. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that this is how I'm going to keep them to the end. I got too excited, I guess, and I started painting with yellow ochre, raw sienna, and quint red right away. But I should have started actually with a cobalt blue and quint red. Well, nothing bad happened out of it. It's just that I added it second. And this is my second version because um, I painted the first version, but something I didn't like, I guess, and I don't know what, what I didn't like because now when I see it, I actually like it maybe a little better. But with this uh, bunny rabbit, uh, the way I painted it, I thought it would be much easier to follow along. Here I'm adding Van Dyke Brown and Quinacridone Red with some of that blue violet, so Quint Red and Cobalt Blue. I'm finding now the dark, some of the darker areas, but this is not like the dark value now of these colors. I'm still working on the lightest parts. Here I started grabbing the yellow ochre again, then the Rosina and Quint Red, because I finished with like the main undertones. I kind of shaped the bunny rabbit, and then now I can go back with um, thicker paint again. So this is heavy cream like ratio, and I started adding some of that raw umber as well. But to create that depth, that's when you want to build it up. And starting with undertones and uh, be creative too like you don't have to um, try to be creative because you don't have to go with something that you see in the reference you could just make up some different colors too like it's totally okay I have my brush like loaded with these darks so this is like the Van Dyck brown and cobalt blue and quint red and I had to switch to a smaller brush to continue like shaping it and it's a damp brush when I'm going now over these areas it's just a damp brush so when you do this when you go back towards that hair wipe your brush like 10 times on a towel before you do this so you don't bring 
any new water onto your painting because that's when you can create blooms, that's when the paint will start spreading. And at this moment, I've been painting for like 15 minutes, the paper is drying like fast. So I don't have much time. But the advantage here is that at this stage, whatever I apply like more color with a heavy cream like ratio, the paint won't spread as much as in the first five minutes thick brush overall but you could use like a smaller size brush now what's happening here is um i am wetting the eye the entire eye i thought my brush was clean it wasn't clean i had a little bit of Van Dyke brown and quinn red on it so that's the only reason why you first saw that there was a color in there the idea is to wet that eye first what i did was um to clean it up i just grabbed that paint a little bit and then i start spreading the rest and now you can't really see it that much the first color i'm applying is cobalt blue and quin red this is a round brush size zero it's a smaller brush so i'm working on the undertones so the darks are going over the edges mostly um you can wait for this to till the next layer but if you feel comfortable this is still wet on wet but as long as you have that between I say heavy cream and the cream top like ratio and I started calling cream top more like what's uh, the paste what the paste is like when you squeeze it out of a tube but still slightly wetted paint and then on the bottom I added some of the yellow ochre some quin red and then I'm letting it to dry. I'm letting it to dry so I can continue painting the eye. So now that the area has dried and I'm wetting it, this is raw sienna, some burnt sienna. There is actually a little bit of quin red in there too. Heavy cream like ratio, maybe a little heavier than that. This is Van Dyke Brown and Indigo raw umber and then I think I added raw sienna. But then I, I lifted and now I'm adding uh, a little more of the Van Dyke Brown and Indigo, tor most, mostly towards the edges. Same thing with the nostrils, with the nose. So some of that Van Dyke Brown, but just, just on the tip of my brush, and this is a smaller brush size zero, round zero. And another thing is that um, I'm painting now wet on dry. So the ratio between water and paint needs to be uh, between water and milk-like ratio. That's what I go with here. So here, like now I just grabbed some uh, yellow ochre, there's some quint red, uh, raw sienna. I didn't clean my brush, so I still have that burnt sienna raw umber on my brush as well. And if you want to make that brown more reddish, that's when you grab more of the quinacridone red or the red you're using. And uh, also lifting like that muzzle part a little bit in that, that right cheek where I lifted that area and it all started working and I added a little bit of paint there too over the muzzle. So last thing is just to add some singled out hairs then if you want to. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please let me know if you have any questions.